Today, Megastar Mamuti turns 70. Happy birthday! <laughs> Servus Freunde, my name is Jimmy Cage and Vatsyalam is a 1993 Malayalam language family drama that was directed by Kochi Nanifa and written by A.K. Lohita Das, a legendary Indian filmmaker who among many other things wrote Kiridam and wrote and directed Bhuta Kanadi, two films that we were very impressed by. And now, before anyone is complaining why I picked Vatsyalam for Mamuti's 70th birthday and not one of his more popular and iconic films, well, the reason is simply that it's super difficult to find them in good quality with English subtitles. And yes, I know that Dr. Baba Zaheb Ambedkar is available on YouTube, but the quality is truly terrible, so that's not really an option. Vatsyalam, which can be translated as parental love, was certainly not a film that completely got to me, because I think it's not as universally accessible as many others. It's a family drama, and with stories and settings like this, I really notice how different the culture is from what I grew up in, and how difficult it can be not just to fully understand all the relationships, customs and little nuances, but also get the emotional impact from it, because a lot is so different from what I am used to or think is the right thing to do. But that also makes it interesting, because it gives me an opportunity to witness and explore other ideas of how life and family and especially marriages should function. And even if I don't agree or have my issues with a lot of things in the movie, I can also already tell you that Mamuti is really great in it, and that I also thoroughly enjoyed the wonderful songs that were composed by S.P. Venkatesh, with lyrics by Kaita Pram. And it instantly begins with a great song and a truly wonderful shot and edited introduction that shows us the world of our protagonists, specifically our main protagonist Raghavan Nair, played by Mamuti. He is a simple farmer and that first song montage shows us the world of farming. It's time for the harvest and there's this great rhythm to the song and also the editing. It's very positive and quite romanticized I think and there's beauty and pride to it. The story of Vatsyalam is all about family and I assume that there are hundreds of similar movies and TV series out there. Mamuti's Raghavan has been the head of the family ever since the early death of his father. He is the one who is holding everything together and who has devoted his life to the hard work on the farm to ensure that everyone is taken care of. It's especially important that his brother Vijaya Kumaran, played by Zidiki, is able to study and become a lawyer. And the movie's main conflicts evolve around these two brothers and their life choices. It is very much about traditional values and responsibilities, both monetarily and personally. Vatsyalam features a big ensemble and it definitely took me some time to finally get all the family ties correctly. Raghavan's wife Malati is played by the great Gita, who I just recently saw in Panchagni. The mother is played by Kaviyo Ponama. Raghavan's younger sister Zuda is played by Zunita. Uncle Kunja Mama is played by Abu Bakar, his daughter Nalini by Bindu Panika, and there are still some more. As usual with most Malayalam movies, and especially Malayalam movies from that time period, the pacing is pretty chill and there's a good amount of time, two and a half hours, to get familiar with the characters. Mamuti's Raghavan is easily the most profound and most interesting one. A man who had to take charge from an early age on. Which is why I think he's also very strict and traditional when dealing with the people around him, his wife and children. I think he had to be this way to get his and their lives back on track. I really appreciated that the movie doesn't give us a cheap, overtly melodramatic black and white narrative with clear-cut good and bad guys. It's mostly grounded and realistic and Raghavan has virtues as well as flaws. Watching the movie with 2021 eyes makes things a bit more complicated or difficult I think, and there are moments when he's definitely leaning more towards a dominating patriarch. He gets violent and though he's kind of apologetic afterwards, the movie still seems to downplay his harsh behavior. Now, I don't want to be too judgmental watching this movie from a very different culture and also time period, but to me it certainly came across as a bit reactionary. There's for example this one moment when Raghavan is scolding his younger sister Suda for being friends with a guy from college. He does apologize for it, but the end result is still that she thinks it's best if she doesn't go to college anymore and Raghavan is happy about that. And like I said earlier, it wasn't that easy to get on the film's emotional wavelength, because the concept of arranged marriages and how positively it is connoted to get the women of a family married, it's just all very foreign to me and when the movie portrays it as something honorable and desirable to get them married as soon as possible, 
I always see it from the perspective of an outsider. But it was interesting to see how it all plays out with the different commitments and responsibilities involved and how Mamuti is portraying this man. But I only really got emotionally invested in the latter half. On one hand, the movie gained a lot more energy and momentum, but on the other, it also did so by getting way more melodramatic than before. Vijaya Kumaran is getting married to Shoba, a young woman from a rich family, and the movie now shifts to the family getting torn apart. Mamuti's performance in this later part is really great, and there are so many strong moments, with him and the uncle, him and his wife, but especially him and his brother, who in his eyes is turning his back on all the things Raghavan has carefully built in the past. The emotions are big, but so is the one-sided, villainous depiction of Vijaya Kumaran's new wife Shoba. She is portrayed as this spoiled, arrogant woman who hates to be in this common house of a family of farmers. It's quite exaggerated and again, to me it didn't sit well that it appeared as if the movie was saying that this woman just needs to be put into her place, which again felt very reactionary. But I can't lie that the class conflict of it also spoke a lot more to me and got me amped up. There's a really powerful and heartbreaking moment when Raghavan is coming home to dinner after he worked late on the fields. There's also this strong motive of Raghavan's old share that's reoccurring throughout the movie and I was positively surprised that it became quite important for the climax as well. Siddiqui also does a fine job portraying the brother, but I felt that his character was not as well written as Mamuti's. There's a moment in the middle where he's acting as an idealist who doesn't want to work as a lawyer for a political party. And there are some very poignant dialogues in that scene as well as the whole movie. I really enjoyed that moment and thought we would get more of his personality, maybe more of his more modern points of view. But his decision to marry because of his career felt rather superficial and not motivated enough for me. It would have been nice to see more of his inner conflict. I'm really a bit torn about how I feel about the movie. Mamuti is great and the character he plays as well as the whole family dynamic are really fascinating. I also enjoyed a few songs a lot and the overall atmosphere. But unfortunately I also thought the movie tends to be rather reactionary. At least that's the vibe I picked up. Of course, keeping in mind that it's a movie from 1993. And that's pretty much what I would say in German as well. Vatsalyam bietet eine weitere Glanzleistung von Mamuti und eine durchaus faszinierende Familiendynamik und tolle Musik. Für mich als Außenstehenden hat die Geschichte aber auch einfach nicht dieselbe emotionale Wirkung und ich bin etwas ratlos über manche Standpunkte des Films. I give Vatsalyam 7 out of 10. It's more like 6.6. But I don't do that. Alright, that's it like always. Comment below and let me know what you think about Vatsalyam. You can hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Letterboxd and also on Patreon simply at the Jimmy Cage. And if you enjoyed this episode, please give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, whatever you like. And make sure you hit that bell for all I have to tell.